Jamie, I think you are the lion whisperer all the way from the north. Queen of the North, shall we call you today? Because as you said that, our lioness stood up and is now staring at some giraffe, but they are very, very far away. And I think they're a little bit on the, well, ambitious side, shall I say the least. I have yet to see a, a lion in the Mara take down a giraffe. Are they gonna be specialists? I don't know. We saw the sausage tree, a lioness's uh, attempt to go for one and failed miserably. There we go, that was the attempt, everyone. <laughs> now a question from CNAC about giraffe and lions funny enough um, and you were wondering would a lion jump on a giraffe's back to take it down well there's a number of different uh, techniques that a, a, a lion will use now if you're inexperienced and it's your first time hunting a giraffe you probably not going to be successful I'll be super impressed uh, and up in a double barrel or even just a single kick to the face would be enough uh, to break a lion's jaw or to kill it instantly uh, so it, um, it it really depends I have seen lions also sitting and waiting and having giraffe run towards them and then they leap up and try and grab them around the neck and almost throw well basically knock them off their feet really and and that's when a giraffe becomes helpless is when it's been knocked to the ground uh, that's when there's a problem unfortunately so uh, so so yes yeah, so it just depends you know if there were any young giraffe around and we have been seeing lots of them then I'd be very excited because uh, three lionesses you know they definitely one of them would be able to take down a sub adult giraffe and with all the little ones around it'd be quite easy although adults can be quite protective over them but there they are and they've lost interest in the giraffe and I'm sure they're going to head back up towards the escarpment and finish with their day so I'm not sure which lionesses these are it's just the three of them I haven't seen any youngsters around uh, so whether it's the Olololo females or maybe it's those three lionesses that we I've seen at hippo pools before well just a little bit further north west of hippo pools to be precise hmm they haven't really put up their heads for us to see though <laughs> no Andrea <laughs> I love this question. You're wondering why is it that lions are always sleeping? It's true, isn't it? This is the typical lion sighting that you will get when you come on safari. Unless you're lucky enough to catch them in those few hours where they go off and are actually active. So it's not that they're lazy, it's vitally important uh, that they do preserve as much energy as possible. And uh, they also don't want to be running around all the time because first you're exhausted and then you start uh, tucking into valuable fat uh, reserves. And you don't want to do that because a lion never knows when its next meal is going to be. That all depends on its hunting skills. But for now, I'm just scanning around as we sit here can't really see much at all there's those giraffe that are now moving off I did see some zebra a little further down you know the odd um, topi here and then a couple of coax hearted beasts have come back but unfortunately not much and the Ngamas have taken one of the wildebeest so now there's only five wildebeest left in the bottom plains below the Ngama <laughs> I'm only teasing, of course. That's just a small group that has obviously decided they're not going to migrate. They're residents. They're just quite happy to live there. Nothing down in the distance. So I don't know where they will go. If they go back towards the area where we had the cheetah this morning, they'll find a field filled with zebra, which could potentially be good, and also some more coax hard beast, coax hard beast and giraffe. There were plenty of them to him.